Sometimes a brain likes to play tricks. It has the ability to wake us, but hold us in place as our dreams break into reality. It also has the ability to create things in our day-to-day -day lives. Figures, creatures, even noises can spawn from the back of our minds. Sleep deprivation, drugs, they're all factors, but little do people know about other times when our brain decides to hallucinate. The Gansfeld effect is a fabulous example. The principle simple. If you distance yourself from everything, from sound, from sight, from stimulus, you start to see. You start to see shapes, you start to hear noises, just as much as you would if you were doped up on some rancid chemical. Creatures coming from full-blooded boredom. On the surface, it sounds like a pleasant bit of trivia. And the common man, when hearing this, usually shrugs and walks on with his day-to-day -day existence. But you are still listening, aren't you? So I figure you want to know the eternal question. Why? Even scientists are baffled. They say that the brain requires stimulus, and as a result, it creates shapes to quell the boredom. But it still doesn't explain dreams as to why, when we try and rest, our brain creates scenarios, creatures. It certainly doesn't explain the horrific ones. Dreams of illness, of fear, of pain, nightmares. But I have a theory. Our brains, being as intelligently built as they are, have a subconscious knowledge. The shadow from the corner of your eye, when you feel that someone is following you. You can't see them, but you know they're there. Surely it would make sense for it to prepare us for when the feeling comes too close, when the feelings are real, to test us with shadows, with figments, to keep us on our toes. But this raises another question, another unpleasant question. If our brain creates monsters and figures to prepare us, then what is out there? What are we going to find when it's not just paranoia, when there is a man following you, when there is a figure? When the shadow is not alone, but cast from something very, very real.